Yo. What up? All right. Um, so, we got another one from Ron White. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What we got? Uh, this is called... <laughs> this is called Shitting in the Streets. It's Vegas, baby. <laughs> Shitting in the Streets. It's Vegas, baby. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, I mean, I, I really couldn't imagine somebody just shitting in front of the MGM Grand. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no. like, <laughs> like just pulling their pants down, popping the squat, <laughs> and letting the fool know. Now, I mean, I imagine somebody could be drunk enough. To, yeah, to yeah. Keep it's, in a there's a lot of people <laughs> drunk. Yeah, there's a lot of drunk people. But I don't know. I don't know how you can get that drunk to where your bowels are that loose, uh, to where you would just shit. In the yeah. in the open, maybe you know, maybe if you find a corner yeah. or something, yeah. it's probably like a corner, corner or something. You can a find. Corner inside of a casino. Yeah. If you in a casino, go to the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you shit, man. It's in the streets. If you are inside of a casino, please go to the restaurant. There is. Oh, man. <laughs> man, man. But I imagine it happens a lot. Man, imagine the FMGM. You see somebody just. The shit. Shit. Call the police. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling the police. You better not be just shit. <laughs> ah, that's gonna be terrible. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ron White, shitting in the streets in Vegas. Or shitting in the streets, it's Vegas, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it was a weird week. And I knew it was gonna be a weird week because it started off weird. I was gonna go to Vegas a day early to uh, do some media and I wanted to see the show called Love that's also at the Mirage, Beatles, Cirque du Soleil show, fantastic fucking show. And uh, so I, I was talking to my, my wife and I live in Atlanta and Hollywood and, and we were out in California and I said, I'm leaving today at 3.30 to go to Las Vegas and I have an airplane that you guys bought me. <laughs> <laughs> I like it a lot. Half the Fortune 500 companies in America have let go of their private jets. Not Ron White, I think I'm flying that son of a bitch straight into bankruptcy. <laughs> I guarantee you one day I'll be living in a double wide trailer with shag carpet and I'll have a jet with weeds growing through it. <laughs> I'll be in the front seat going, push me around some. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't come from money. I come from the opposite of money. I come from no money. <laughs> Ten years ago, I lived in a camper in my friend's backyard. He didn't even know I was there. <laughs> it wasn't even a nice camper. It was like a homemade pop-up camper. It looked like somebody had duct taped a tent to a golf cart. <laughs> I had a 20-inch Coleman television. I had to pump it up during commercials. <laughs> you couldn't watch porn on it because nobody's that coordinated. <laughs> I was broke. I owe the IRS a bunch of money because I don't understand how that works. It's confusing. When I started doing stand-up, they said that made me an independent contractor, and they said I needed to start filing my taxes quarterly, which I thought meant every 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> my brain won't wrap itself around shit that complicated, man. My brain does this. That's it. That's all it does. I have attention deficit disorder. I have learning disabilities. I don't have a high school diploma. I'm smart, but you can't prove it on paper. <laughs> I do have a GED, and if you don't know what GED stands for, you probably got one too. <laughs> anyway, I told my wife, I said, I'm leaving today at 3.30 to go to Vegas. My wife's singer, songwriter, composer, Margo Ray is her name, and uh, a brilliantly talented woman. And, and uh, she says, well, I'm working with a guitar player in the studio till five o'clock. You can't wait till 5.30 so I can fly with you. And I said, can you be there at 5.30? And she said, yes, which I knew was a lie because she's the biggest liar in my life. <laughs> when it comes to how long it's gonna take her to get somewhere, I hear her on the phone all the time just lying through her teeth. It's, we're two exits away, traffic's really heavy, we should be there in 15 minutes. I'm like, you're in the fucking bathtub. <laughs> 
we wouldn't be there in 15 minutes if we were where you said we were. <laughs> but I told her, I said, you get there at 5.30, you can fly with me, but let me tell you something, sugar tits, at 5.31, I am wheels up and I am fucking gone. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> Not very loud. <laughs> But I said it. <laughs> 531 gets there. Is she there? No. Do I leave? No. no. <laughs> 601 gets there. Is she there? No. Do I leave? No. Why? Because this dick won't suck itself. That's why. <laughs> it won't. I've asked it to many, many times. In fact, the other day, I sat my dick down, I looked him straight in the eye, and I, I said, listen, I know I've drug you into some pretty muddy shit in the last 35 years. I need you to get past that, learn how to suck yourself so I can grow a spine and get on with my goddamn life. It went in one ear and out the other. <laughs> My dick has ears. <laughs> oh, shit. It has an eye. Okay. Okay. And it has two ears. <laughs> and a double chin. Ah. Mr. Potato <laughs> Dick. <laughs> the cutest thing you ever saw. I got little uh, outfits to put on them. Uh, One of them's a raincoat. Uh, Not a condom, a raincoat. A little yellow slicker <laughs> with that hat. And a, <laughs> Looks like that fish and chips dude. Oh, shit. Uh, it's the exact stupid. same size as the one on the box. Uh, that's just an interesting fact. <laughs> what is it, Ron? <laughs> an interesting fact. Anyway, so we go see Love and uh, Beatles Circus Olay show. I'm a huge fan of the Beatles, and I just love their music, always have. And Circus always fun, and, and uh, their art shows are at the same time, so I, I'd never been able to see it. And I got eight people from my camp. My wife's sitting next to me. We have great seats because I work for the Mirage, and everything's perfect except right behind me, these two chicks are just jabbering. Not about the show, just jabbering. Just jabber, jabber, can't shut up. Jabber, jabber, won't shut up. Jabber, fucking jabber, fucking jabber, jabber. The kind of chicks that can talk around a blowjob. You know what I'm saying? I told them all day, you don't think that goddamn thing will come up. If I come on one more time, that baby got a shitty diaper wrapped around his ass. I'm on goddamn blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna go to the swap meet, get a dress to wear at Arby's on Sunday. And I turn around and look, I notice her husband's work with him. I figure they're at a gun show trying to find a way out of this fucking thing. Well, that's way better. I hear the guy sitting next to him go, hey, could you hold it down? My family's trying to watch the show. And she goes, fuck you, we paid our money, whatever the hell we want. And I'm just steaming fucking pissed. They're ruining my goddamn night. I can't hear anything but that. I've been waiting for a year to fucking see this show. And I turned around and very politely, <laughs> don't start with me. Very politely, I said, lady talking to her in live theater, as far as social skills goes, is like shitting in the street. <laughs> she goes, you better mind your own business. I said, you better quit shitting in the street. <laughs> she goes, I'll have you thrown out of here. I said, if you don't quit flapping your fucking cock hole, sir. <laughs> Everybody heard that. <laughs> Before, it was a little disturbance right behind me. Uh, Very few people privy to that one. Then 1,700 people hear me go, if you don't quit flapping your fucking cock all night. <laughs> this is all at a show called Love, by the way. <laughs> I had her murdered and buried in the desert. It's Vegas, baby. 
<laughs> Careful who you fuck with. <laughs> and legend has it, if you go out into the desert and the moon is full and the wind dies down, you can still hear her jabbering. <laughs> I'm a street shitter. I'm shitting in the street. Did you? What the <laughs> fuck was that? That's that chick Ron killed. <laughs> they call this Jabber Gulch. Uh, <laughs> that was stupid. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Not literally shitting in the street. He wasn't talking about literally, literally shitting in the streets. Uh, I'm really shitting. Yeah, because I thought it was gonna be a story about him shitting in the streets, like getting drunk and shitting in the streets. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, so at least now we know where the ears come in at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In the uh, comments, he was talking about his dick. His dick ass. He <laughs> said a double chin. And double chin. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit! A raincoat. He had like yellow raincoat. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. Right, what? Yeah. Hilarious. Oh, man. Dude got his own shit. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, man. I remember we said that. That's what. Yeah. Right. He said he came from nothing, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending money. No <laughs> <laughs> money. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I love that yeah. old jet, though. Yeah, man. Go anywhere. Up, man. Hell yeah, man. Gas bills. Cost you like around. $25 million, though. What, for a jet? Yeah. $25 million? Nah, maybe like three. You rent a jet. How do you go from $25 million to $3 million? <laughs> renting, renting and owning a jet. Obviously, I don't buy no jets, so I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? But from what I've seen, I think it costs like $12, $13 million, I think like that. I, mean, I guess like what, what depends on like what type of jet. I'm just like, like, like on, yeah, different type of jets. Yeah. Or they, they got like the, G, like the G5s or whatever. Yeah. 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 Small jets, big jets. I just, yeah. just give me a plane. Yeah, plane. Just give me any type of plane. 757? No. Not even. <laughs> no jumbo jet. What do I need a jumbo jet for? Oh, uh, but you just want a plane. Like, just, uh, give me something one, just to fly man, some. You know what I'm saying? Them, the Batman, like them, them one-seater, two-seater planes, man, they, they always go down, man. Like, I always hear tragic stories. Now, a lot of people got planes like they that, do. but, you know. I, 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 I would want to fly the plane. You wouldn't want to fly the plane? You just yeah, want to own one? No, man, I, I, I want to I pilot. I don't want to know how to fly a plane, man. Like, I, 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 I would fly panic. One. Like, if something happened Dude. and I was in the cockpit, <laughs> nigga, I would panic. If any it's type of alarm go off. Ass, that's why you always need a parachute, man. That's why I believe, that's why I am. <laughs> he said eject. First, you said eject yourself out. <laughs> eject yourself. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's or, a, isn't like, that like a fighter jet, nigga? Yeah, I'm going to be in a fucking Cessna or some shit. I can't eject that's, that's myself. That's why you need a parachute. Parachute, man. Parachutes, you can always just jump the fuck out if you got a bra. Never mind. I don't want no damn plane. I don't know what I'm talking about. I can't do that shit. I'm a fucking panic trying to <laughs> get the nah, shoot. Man, but fly the plane be cool, man. Like, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Be up in the air. You know what I'm saying? It's just like another feeling, man. Like, different than sitting in a plane. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, like um, landscape and all that shit. They got, like, dudes in, like, paramotor. Have you ever seen paramotor? Paramotor? Yeah, like you have like, oh, a, like, like a big the, motor on your back with the yeah. propeller. Ooh, nah, then you have like a parachute. Not, not oh, a big, like parachute. Like, okay, I can like, see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like they get hot. Dropping into like the stage. Well, no, they, they well they take off. They take off from the ground and then they land. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But they yeah. still. But it's like they get high as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen I've seen some videos, but I would yeah. never do that shit. No, you wouldn't do it. Hell no. Yeah, like paragliding, like off cliffs and shit. Cliffs? Hell no. Yeah. That, that should be badass, man. <laughs> I'll be the nigga that trips and <laughs> tumbles down First the cliff. First time he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> First Avenger. I miss Frank. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad he had to try <laughs> cliff diving. Exactly. This is the first time I tried cliff diving. Turn the damn show into through the eyes of Rondo. <laughs> Frank was a Frank. good dude. <laughs> I told him not to do the cliff diving, yeah, but he said it'll be a good video. Motor paraglide. 